the Holy Ganga is a lifeline for the 600 million people living in her basin, who rely on her waters for irrigation, drinking, generating energy, and manufacturing. With time and because of unsustainable urbanization and intensified agricultural practice, the river has become heavily polluted. Fecal contamination is high along the river and makes the water unsuitable for bathing or drinking purposes, barring few upstream locations. The main Ganga stream today directly receives 2.7 billion litres of sewage, including fecal sludge, every day, out of which 74% is untreated. 40% of urban households are connected to septic tanks rather than piped sewers and many people still practice open defecation. Even for those connected to septic tanks, the septage is disposed of without regulation or treatment, most commonly in peri-urban farms, informal landfills or nearest drains. When the untreated fecal sludge reaches the river, it consumes the oxygen that's present in water. So the oxygen gets depleted, the river gets polluted. Uh, we have a lot of fecal coliform, uh, especially in the middle stretch of the Ganga, uh, where we have a lot of urbanization and a lot of municipal wastewater. That's a health risk, a public health hazard, uh, which is something that needs attention. So we are not looking for conventional solutions to address the pollution challenge. We are not looking at expensive sewers and sewage treatment plants. We are looking for practical and affordable solutions for fecal pollution. The thing is that many households rely on septic tanks to collect toilet waste. And this toilet waste ends up in the rivers untreated. So we are looking at how to collect this toilet waste, transport it, compost it, and make a good fertilizer for agriculture nutrient-rich and pathogen-free, safe. The co-composting solution involves collecting fecal sludge from the septic tanks and transporting it by trucks to a centralized fecal sludge treatment plant, where it is applied on drying beds to dewater it and improve its solid content. The dried sludge is then mixed with straw and organic matter to create a compost, which is then made into pellets and can be used as a safe and pathogen-free organic fertilizer. We are aware that fecal sludge management only addresses part of the pollution problem. Urban drains will receive a still grey water and pollution from other sources such as open defecation. So we are looking at how can we complement fecal sludge management with non-conventional treatment of the wastewater that remains in open drains. The thing is that in Indian cities, land is typically scarce and it is difficult to find land to build treatment plants. So we are looking at what can be done in stream within this open drain. The second solution proposes increasing the hydraulic capacity of the existing drains by regularly unclogging and properly covering the drains to prevent mixing of solid waste in the current outlets. Also, the option of floating wetlands offers an in-situ solution in larger drains. It mimics a natural wetland system that helps to remove suspended solids and organic matter from these polluted drains. So we are not only assessing technologies, we are looking at comprehensive solutions, including cost recovery mechanisms, to have these technologies adopted and sustained. So for that, the stakeholder support is vital. It requires a multi-stakeholder thing. I mean, everyone concerned needs to be a part of the solution. So we need to have the Nagar Palikas or the Nagar Panchayats or the corporations involved who have their role to play. We need to have the states involved and have this as a priority at the state level. Having the support of local, state and national authorities will facilitate the adoption of our proposed solutions. Conventional sewers and treatment plants are expensive and it takes many years to have them constructed and operational. But with fecal sludge management and our other proposed solutions, we can have results in terms of better sanitation and water quality improvement quickly and at low cost. यदि ये अपवित्र हो जाएंगे तो हमारा जीवन मुश्किल हो जाएगा सामाजिक जागृति पैदा करना 
हम सबका कर्तव्य है हम लोग सब मिल जाए थान लेके गंगा हमारी माँ है उसका रक्षा करना हम लोग का फर्ज है जनता जो मिल के सही कर देंगे Our solutions are based on international experience. In the last years, IMI has thoroughly analyzed many successful projects on fecal sludge management and resource recovery and reuse around the world, and we have seen what works and why. And this experience is what we would like to bring to the Ganges to support existing policies and inform plan investments. What we plan will contribute to have a healthier river and healthier people in the Ganga Basin.